G'day and welcome to David Joshua Ford Live. This is episode 62. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at Canon's PTZ auto tracking software. So this is something if you have a Canon PTZ camera already, then there is um, auto tracking software that you can try out for 30 days before you then pay them a huge amount of money to have that indefinitely. So um, there wasn't much that I could find out on the web about this uh, add-on piece in terms of what it looks like and what you can expect because it's going to be a lot of money that you lay out for this software. So in today's episode I just wanted to take a look at what that tracking software is, um, how you can install the demo version and to see if it will work for you. Um, all right so to kick off things let's first take a look at the firmware upgrade because um, if you have a, a N300 or 500, you're gonna be having to run version 1.3 of the firmware, otherwise it won't work. I ran my head for hours being like, why isn't this up, why isn't this installing? And it's because my firmware was on 1.2. But if you have a Canon N700, then that newer camera is actually 1.2. So it's a bit confusing between 1.3 for the older PTZs and then the newer ones, 1.2. And by the time this comes out, maybe that's the latest one. Uh, maybe there's been updated again. So let's take a look. I will put the links down below as well for some of this stuff because I gotta say, I find it a little bit difficult to find some of these things between the Canon Europe and the Canon USA. Um, so under the Canon USA website, you can find under downloads, you can get version, this is the 500 here, uh, 1.3 to update your firmware. But um, a little bit harder trying to find the software there. So do a Google search. Also, as I said, I'll put the links below on the Canon Europe site. It's a little bit easier. The software is here. And then you'll be able to see the auto tracking software that you can download as an add-on. Now, if we jump over to B&H, there, there are two add-ons that you can purchase. As I mentioned today, we're gonna to talk about the auto tracking. This is a $1,200 add-on on top of your PTZ camera, which will range from two to $10,000. Um, and then there's also an auto looping for $800, which will go between two presets. As an aside, if you were to download one of my um, presets, I have this sort of built in, in terms of being able to um, go between two presets on an automated um, function. So. That is in the profiles that I provide and I can sort of replicate that from that profile. Can't replicate the uh, tracking though. So what you will need to do eventually is um, after 30 days of trying this out for free, it's gonna be a $1,200 price tag for that. Um, and then uh, I've got some stuff I'm developing for that too, which we'll get into in a sec. Okay, so you have downloaded your um, software let's go first to uh where are we let's go to you're gonna access your camera now i was just trying to install this and i realized it wasn't correct so um i'm gonna assume that you know how to already get into your camera so we've already set up the camera we're in the uh, i gotta jump over here to the settings um so we're in the camera here and this is under settings under system and then add-on. This is where you're going to install the add-on software into the actual camera. So it doesn't ship with the camera. That's something you've got to download and install. Before you do that, go to update firmware and check here where your uh, firmware is updated to because mine was on 1.2 and it wouldn't install. I had that in my head, 1.2 was the latest because 1.2 is the N700, but anyway, go check that. Um, basically, you'll just click on firmware update, you'll download that and you'll find the bin file um, from the download that you've got from Canon's website. You'll open that and then you go execute. Make sure you don't make any changes to the browser while you are um, doing that update and then it will get to the latest version. Once you have the latest firmware updates, then it is time to try the demo license. Now, it's, this is something that is out there in the wild. You can, you can download this and you can test it out, and we're gonna do that today um, so that you can then decide if you wanna spend another uh, $1,200 to get the, the tracking features um, for these cameras. 
So once you have downloaded your file, it's going to look like, let's jump over here, uh, this. <clears throat> so there's going to be auto tracking RAAT001. This is the disk image. And if I open that up, then it's going to open up a new window. And there's basically what we need to do is come in here to the app and there's a license activation tool. Open up that and then you get to this online authentication window or offline. I haven't tried offline, so I'm just going to stick with the online. I'm assuming that you have internet connection to make this work. So for online, just click through here. In the manual it says to enable SSL. I didn't find I had to do that, so I have sort of skipped that step. But you can just search for a camera and this tool will find the cameras on your network. And I've got two cameras on my network, which I'm calling um, 101 and 102. And um, 101 I've installed the software on and 102 I have not. So I'm going to select that one. And at this point you'll have to um, input your um, password. So let's not reveal that on uh, camera. Um, where are we going here? And so you can type in your, just the, the password that you use to log into your camera and you'll log in here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, auto tracking. Now it's not installed, so I'm going to start by installing it. And you'll see over under system, under add-on, auto tracking. And let me just come back over here. Okay, so auto tracking, it's going to say here it's not registered and you would hit authentication and that is, I wonder if I can go one more step. I just don't want to start this. Okay, so this is going to come up here. Now, if you had purchased a license, this is where you would do your online authentication and put that license code into there. But for camera two, I haven't purchased a license yet, but I can click start and it will generate a 30 day license that I don't have to input any financial details for. I'm not going to do that just at this point um, because I just want to make sure that I can try this out for longer than I, than I have. Um, so I'm going to quit that application. You'll notice here on camera two, I've got this application here and it is not running and it's not registered. But I'm going to jump over to uh, camera one, jumping ahead of myself here, camera one. Okay, so the same thing, I'm just going to go back to my page here. So this is my camera one, which has the software already installed and I'm going to go to my settings. Again, I have to sign in. Cool, and then we get into system add-on and I can select that. Um, sorry, I skipped a step there, which was you have to install it, which is under the, um, uh, I was thinking that because we'd done that because of the firmware, but under the add-on, you need to come into this add update and you would click on that box and then you would find under the auto tracking, it would be this one, the bin again under that disk image and go open and then go install. And once you do that, that's will come up with this auto tracking application. I'm just going to get rid of that because I've already done it, <clears throat> but I can um, install that there. This is also where you would have the auto loop if that was in, uh, if you'd installed that one. Okay, so when you get to this point, it's not going to be running. And so you can say um, start up and now it's running. Um, this is where your license would be, but you can see I'm just running on a trial license, which is ending tomorrow, hence why I'm recording this today, um, to make sure that I get, so that I can sort of show you what's going on. And then I also want to click on automatic startup, just so that every time I boot up the camera, this tracking is just on and ready to go, and I don't have to come in and go through these steps. Now, you can go to uh, add on, top page, where are we? Add on top page. So then I can click open and we come into the actual tracking page that we have there. Um, the, 
uh, where are we? I'm going to come back to just in case you like once you've done that <clears throat> and you've installed it, you can next time you were to come into your default home page for your camera, um, you can just go across here, uh, other functions, and this add-on view. That's where this thing lives. So it's a bit of a clunky kind of click through. And then this is the, the GUI, like the, the graphical interface that you're going to use to control the camera. And um, otherwise, I would grab this address and bookmark that because it's going to be much easier just to jump back in on a bookmarked address. So I've been through and I've, I've set this up, but I haven't, um, haven't got this on at the moment. So the last step is going to be switching this on. Just click this on. A little slow, huh? <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, it's found me, and you can see the the white box uh, frame um, corners is what is knowing seeing my face and is tracking this around. And um, yeah, so let's now go through the last segment here. That we're going to talk about which is this add-on page, and you can see I've <laughs> this is enabled now. So if I do a manual operation. Um, the camera will perform that and then I, it'll go back to auto tracking me within that space. So, all right, future David jumping in here. I recorded that pre recorded live stream towards the end of last year, but the web page and the cameras were becoming unresponsive. And so I had a lot of time troubleshooting that and I didn't manage to finish recording that segment um, at the end of last year. And then the next day, the demo expired. So I haven't been able to finish it. Um, but I have reached out to Canon and they have said that they will send me a developer license to be able to do more um, demos about the tracking. So that was part one about how to do the free install. And like I said before at the beginning of this, if you do have a PTZ camera from Canon, you can get 30 days free to check it out uh, before you drop the money on that. So very, very well worth going and installing that. And then I'm going to come back once I get my demo license up or my developer license up and we'll do parts two and three of this. Part two will be looking at the, the, the GUI, the, the, what I was just about to get into, which was actually how to use this using Canon's web page that is sort of supplied with that. And then part three is going to be about how to integrate this with Companion because since last year I've actually commissioned one of the Companion developers to build in integrations to control the tracking. And for me, that has made the tracking element of it so much more useful because it means that all these functions can be turned on and off or just automated entirely rather than having to step through pages on a web page when you're in the middle of a live stream. So um, stay on the lookout for that. I will get that when I have those um, tools up and running. But until next week, uh, take care. And um, thank you for watching this sort of two-part episode here, and um, I will see you in next week's episode. All right, bye.